So what is the harmonic pedal? Here's a few bars without pedal. And the same bars with the harmonic pedal. The more I play, the more I am thoroughly convinced that the pedal is the soul of the piano. There are cases where the pedal is everything. Music was composed for the modern piano's predecessor, the forte piano, dating from the time of Haydn, Mozart and Beethoven. The forte piano was invented by Bartolomeo Cristofori around 1700. It had pedals similar to the modern piano, but not quite what we're used to today. Classical music from that time was completely different from the keyboard music of the Baroque period as a result of the new instruments and the expressive possibilities the new pedals added to their music. As the piano continued to evolve, the keyboards also got longer, from four octaves of the early days of the forte piano to six octaves by the sonatas of late Beethoven. Looking back to the Baroque era, keyboard music was written mainly for pipe organ. Harpsichord Clavichord Music for harpsichords is mainly contrapuntal, in sharp contrast to the atmospheric music of Debussy. and Ravel, written for the modern piano as we know them today. J.S. Bach's passion for the pipe organ is well known. Perhaps he was so fond of this instrument because of the variety of colours and sustaining possibilities it offered him. Let's not forget the added natural colour of those immense vaulted churches adding reverberation to his music. If you've ever wandered into a great cathedral when the organ is being played, you'll know exactly what I mean. The three pedals on our modern piano today are una corda, sostenuto and damper. The engineering that brought the una corda pedal, invented by Cristofori for his forte piano, which was essentially hand-stopped to the pedal we know today and used conveniently with our left foot while playing, passed through many design stages. And to this day the three classical pedals have 
arrived at the peak of their development, so it seems. The essence of their effect is cleverly carried across into electric pianos and synthesizers. To add to the three pedals we know well, there's a new pedal, the harmonic pedal. It was invented by a Frenchman, Denis de la Rochefortier, and is now in production on certain brands of piano. The effects this pedal produces are completely natural and can add colours and reverberation that, so far, have not been technically possible to realise. It's an ingenious invention, a great deal of engineering is hidden away, which makes the pedal so simple and natural to use. I personally believe Debussy and Ravel imagined these sounds in their music but were unable to achieve it fully from the pianos of that time. It comes as no surprise the inventor of this pedal lives in Paris, the city that gave us the Impressionists, a movement quintessentially about light, atmosphere and colour. The fourth pedal is a pedal of harmonic resonance, so you could almost say it was an Impressionist pedal. That's not to say the harmonic pedal is limited to Impressionist music. Far from it. Take the music written for harpsichord. Sometimes we don't quite know what to do with the pedals when playing it on a modern piano. Perhaps we feel no pedal at all is the solution, which creates a cleaner sound. The harmonic pedal enables a pianist to add a natural reverberation around contrapuntal textures whilst keeping clarity in legato and staccato. The damper is the pedal we use most. It acts equally on all the strings at the same time. We can vary the amount of damper with half pedaling, but it's generally a pedal that affects all notes equally. The harmonic pedal has two active positions. The first we find easily with our foot is the most ingenious. What happens in essence, all the dampers are raised from the strings so the strings can resonate together harmonically, but when the note is played, a damper drops down the instant the note is released with a finger. So you can play staccato at the slowest or fastest of speeds with total clarity and all the open strings are triggered into life. This has never been possible before. Pressing the harmonic pedal all the way down gives the traditional damper effect. <laughs> Half position enables fast damper return on released notes with continued harmonic resonance. I'll demonstrate by playing four simple chords with a staccato touch. The first without pedal. Now with damper. Now, the harmonic pedal.
and damper contrasted with harmonic pedal one more time. You don't have to take your foot off the harmonic pedal whilst playing. Switching from the half position harmonic resonance to damper is effortless. I'll demonstrate with the opening of Bach's Toccata and Fugue in D minor. I'll start with harmonic resonance when hands are in unison and change to damper for the broken chords. is a three-in-one pedal as it offers harmonic resonance, damper and sostenuto. Pressing the pedal fully to damper holds any played notes. Releasing it to half pedal resonance position keeps these held notes whilst allowing staccato with harmonic resonance. I'll demonstrate how this works with the opening section of Shostakovich's Prelude number no. 9. Powerful sympathetic resonance made possible by the harmonic pedal gives 
composers and recording artists a whole new sound colour to add to their music. Pianists of any level can simply enjoy the effects of resonance on the notes or chords as they play. Reverberation is always sympathetic to the character of the chords played. The sounds are produced naturally and have always been there in waiting. We just couldn't get to them before. With a harmonic pedal, now we can. Thanks for watching. Thank you.